Okay guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the Throwdown Elite Open Thumb Sparring Glove. Uh, but before I get to the glove, I need to give a big shout out to MMAHQ.com and EliteMMA.com for um, sending me these gloves. Uh, they hooked me up with them, trying to help me get my blog back up and running. So they gave me the gloves to do a review over. Um, First thing about the glove I really liked, I really like the look of it. Uh, I like the, the uh, throw down black and red combo they always do. I like the throw down logo. Um, the glove looks nice if that's important to you. Uh, if you don't want to buy something that doesn't look nice, this glove looks good. Um, the construction is really good, it's really well done. Um, let me get a close up on some of the stitching. Um, it's really well done. It's really tight stitching. Uh, it's not loose. There's no big uh, tufts or wrinkles in the leather where you might have problems later if you know you, you use them a lot and you strike real hard. Uh, I don't think you have to worry about this stitching popping on you later and losing stuffing. Um, another good thing about the construction and the stitching is the fingers. Um, on some other brands, you get this problem. Uh, on the fingers where they stitch it up the middle of the finger knuckle right here and uh, they stitch a really thick seam it has a big knob at the top um, I'm not going to name any brands by name but I've used two brands that had that same problem um, Throwdown did a real good job uh, there is stitching on the finger I'll get a close up of that see if you can see it um, if you can't see it the stitches go right here along the side of this finger knuckle um, and the seams are real shallow, they're real small so whenever you grip you don't feel the seam uh, there's nothing getting in the way of you gripping with this glove uh, especially not on the thumb you probably noticed I said this is an open thumb sparring glove uh, whenever I saw it online I'll post a link in the bottom of where I actually saw this on EliteMMA.com um, the picture on that link you'll see has a thumb loop with a knuckle padding on the thumb. Uh, that's what I've always used. Um, that's what I've always liked because whenever I do an inside hammer fist, I don't want to worry about busting up my thumb knuckle. Um, and uh, when I opened up this glove, I was kind of shocked. There was no thumb loop, no thumb padding. I was worried. I thought I might not like it. And there's two big reasons I do like it. Um, one, if you wear a wrap and you like to wrap your thumb to protect that knuckle from moving too much, uh, you have all the room in the world. There's nothing getting in the way of your thumb wrap, um, your uh, thumb protection if you wrap your hand. Um, and two, it gives you really good thumb mobility and thumb grip. Uh, sometimes the thumb loop can get in the way of you being able to grip. Um, I know you're not really supposed to grip with your thumb in jiu-jitsu but uh, you know trapping your wrist for a kimura from guard or um, getting a good gable grip uh, sometimes in the past I've had a problem where I couldn't get my thumb up high enough for the gable grip it'd get in the way and I'd tuck it in and I felt like I was if I, if I landed on it or someone put pressure bust my thumb up but this I have enough room to get it out and get a good grip with my thumb not getting trapped underneath um, so I really like the construction uh, of this part of the glove. Everything from the wrist strap up is great. It's well stitched. It's uh, good looking. It's uh, it takes in it takes into consideration uh, grip uh, right here at the fingers and thumb. Um, the one thing I would change about this glove is the wrist strap. Uh, I like the logo, I think it looks nice, but it's a little bit short, and let me show you why. Um, the good thing about the wrist strap is this piece of elastic, most gloves have it, it holds everything in place, make sure that when you go to strap it, this is going to meet this. Um, so that's one good thing, pretty standard, but it's a good thing. Um, so when you strap it, uh, the Velcro is really good, really high quality. It holds well. Here's my issue. This is the end of 
this piece of Velcro ends right here. Whenever I overlap these two, I only overlap about an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch. Um, that becomes an issue if you like to wear wraps whenever you spar. With this glove, I wouldn't, I don't like to, um, personally. Um, but if you wear a wrap, and especially if you wear a wrap for wrist support, which is what I mainly wear a wrap for, supporting the small bones of the hands for wrist support, um, you're going to be in some trouble, or you think you will be. You have to get used to not wearing a wrap. But I don't think you need to for two reasons. Uh, first off, if you're wearing a wrap for wrist support, this wrist strap gives great wrist support. It's wide, and the Velcro is really high quality, so it holds. And there's four pieces of Velcro that touch, so it's giving you lots of hold. It's tight, and it's wide, so you're getting really good wrist support from this strap. Second thing is this knuckle padding is insane. It's, it's so thick. Uh, I've used two or three different brands of MMA sparring gloves. I've never felt like I had this much protection on my knuckles. Um, the one thing it won't protect, of course, is the small bones of the hand, which you protect with that X uh, uh, form whenever you wrap. You make that X cross your hand. That's what really holds all the small bones into place. So you're not going to have that. Uh, but if uh, you usually spar light enough to where your biggest concerns are your, your wrists and your knuckles, this will protect it without a wrap. Um, one thing I'll say is if you want to wear a wrap, if you want to spar a little bit harder, or you just like wearing a wrap, uh, you could try only wrapping your wrist maybe once or twice, because this will give you the wrist support. And, but you have plenty of room in this part of the glove for padding, for the, the uh, wrap. Um, you obviously have plenty of room on the open palm for the X. Uh, you have plenty of room in the thumb, obviously, to wrap your thumb. But there's plenty of padding in between the actual padding and my knuckles to fit a wrap if I wanted to make it a little bit tighter. Um, so you could wear a wrap, but if you're wearing it for wrist, I would just not wear it if that's your major concern. Um, Overall, I really like this glove. It, it offers me great protection. Um, uh, it looks good. It functions really well. It lets me get a good grip for my jiu-jitsu. Um, I would give it an A. If I give you know an A through F scale, it would get an A. Uh, the only thing I don't like for sure is, is the length of the wrist strap. Um, the, the fully open thumb takes a little bit getting used to. But overall, it's a really great glove. It looks sharp, it's made well, and it gives you great protection. Um, again, I gotta say a big thank you to EliteMMA.com. I'll post a link to these on there. And to MMAHQ.com for hooking me up with these. Um, check out both those websites. Check out MMAHQ every day. They have a, a deal. They, they sell geese, they sell rash guards, they sell gloves. I think last week they had Claydol Reyes headgear for 90 bucks. Um, I have great, great deals on stuff. Uh, and EliteMMA.com has a lot of good uh, products, a lot of well-made products. Um, the specifics on this glove, it's uh, $60 at EliteMMA.com. Um, I think it's well worth every penny of that $60. Um, again, well-made, good protection functions well um, the only thing is a wrist strap but I think that's a problem on a lot of MMA sparring gloves um, I think it's worth every penny and if you're looking for a good pair of MMA sparring gloves I would look at the Throwdown Elite Open Thumb Sparring Glove thanks guys